about you. Yay! Thanks for asking. My story begins four score and seven years ago, back when things were very different. As a young boy, I had no trouble making friends. In fact, I was so popular, I got invited to all the birthday parties. And when they got older, their weddings, even their honeymoons, which was a bit awkward. I was so well liked, they used to call me Fluey Louie, after the Spanish influenza, which was very popular at the time. Even animals loved me, apart from horses. But I never trusted horses. Their faces are too long, and they have mohawks. I was so popular at school, I even became friends with the teachers. We had to teach all the names for each other, like Mr. Klein, or Sir, or sometimes Mr. Louie, Dad. When I got older, things got even better. I met Jojo. She opened my eyes and something to me. Everything about her was magical. Her luscious lips, her flowing hair, her cutie patootie. I'm sorry, but I refuse to picture that last image. Goodbye, cruel world. Our romance was ravenous, insatiable. Our hearts melting with hunger until we consumed each other like a pair of feasting lions. We spent every hour of every day. I'm gonna go bathe and disinfect those. Good idea. I'm gonna steam clean my brain. But very soon, her loving arms refused to let go of me. And she kept me captive. Her tender fingers, now the bars of a gilded cage from which I can never escape. Anywho, enough about me. What's your favorite food? Edible. Listen, I gotta go. That's fine. Just take your phone so we can keep messaging. I'm going places where I can't use my phone. Where? The cinema. Just use silent mode? God, the bathroom. Camera off mode? What if I'm in the middle of the room? Ah, it just doesn't give up. What do we gotta do? I don't know. You're the one who wanted to help him. What? You're the one who came up with Muriel? I blame Muriel. I mean, I blame you. We have to tell him the truth and put it into this before he starts telling us things we're too young to know about. We have to meet. There's something you should know. There's something you should know, too. I thought I needed a friend, but the way you patiently listened to me made me realize something else. Muriel, I think we're more than just Elmo plus friends. <laughs> oh, hello, Pumpkin. I didn't see you there. You look guilty. What? <laughs> That's weird, because my conscience is so clear. What? You're lying. Your eyes always look to the right when you're lying. No, I'm not. What's that? Ah. Sorry, honey. Was that your favorite shirt? No, it was my favorite skin. What's this heart icon? What? Oh, that, that's just a health application telling me how unhealthy I am. <laughs> I know, me too. For a second there, I thought you were looking at all my messages to Muriel. <laughs> Muriel? Who's Muriel? I want to be more than just Elmore Plus friends. Let's meet in real life. 2 p.m. at the mall. Wait, I can explore. Let's meet with him because we have to come clean. Muriel, you happen to see a 200-pound raging Ronin in a dress running towards you while screaming and wielding a sledgehammer. Please stay out of her way. I know that's good advice generally, but in this specific instance, it's most likely my wife coming after you. Wait. It's fine. Muriel doesn't exist. You made her up. Where'd you get her profile picture from? Meh, just randomly online. Okay, there's one funny piece of news and another not so funny piece of news. Funny one first, please. When I search for her photo, all the related pictures are of guinea fowl. <laughs> <laughs> and the not so funny news is that a picture from the guinea fowl is So now we're even? Yes, we are. But I'm not even with Muriel! Now what? The fridge? What? There's nothing in there. Exactly. Why fell through? Gumbo, you're the one who wanted us to keep our dignity. This is what happens when you can't find it.